Um, it's been, no, well, we did this last week. Did we? We did something last week. Uh, welcome back. I know that uh, I just got an invitation for Bricksmith's. Yeah, you got to turn that off. I did. I got an invitation to Bricksmith's stream, and I couldn't make it. And I'm very sorry because I'm doing this at the same time. Um, so, yeah, going to mute gotta that. Turn that down. Got to turn that down. Turn that down. That's what you mean. Um, I'm just going to, I'm trying to get all the, uh, the chats and stuff. So one of the beauties of being an under like million subscriber streamer is that you have to like constantly re up all your API keys and all your other crap to make sure that you're streaming and everything. So I don't know what any of that means. That just means that, you don't have to explain. No, I'm just yeah, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hello, please. Okay. Don't. There we go. All right. So, so what are you doing and drinking tonight? So, we're getting started. Welcome back. Sunday night. This is what we're drinking. It is Rar and Sons Oktoberfest. Mars and Lager. That's what I, he's drinking. I got two of them I to get us through. I'm drinking iced tea. Iced tea. Sans ice. I think my ice melted. These are actually pretty good um, Oktoberfest. Um, they're very tasty and very smooth, so I'm liking it. What's up, Brick X Productions? Hi, Laura. What's up, Laura? Thanks for coming in. Um, and this is what Beth will be building tonight. This is a $20, it was a $25 set, but it was on sale, or $29 set actually, because it's Star Wars, mm -hmm. but only 2,400 pieces, or uh, 241 pieces. So this is what she's building tonight, and I'm hope you're up for it. So we while she's see. opening that, I got a nice gift from a friend of mine. Yes, thank that you, she Meredith. Had, that she had in her office for a little while. Um, it's very cool. It's Marvel, and it's got the characters in there. It's Iron Man and Wolverine and Thor, which I think is odd because, as of yet, Wolverine is not in the MCU. But hopefully will be soon. What am I building now? I am not... Hey, Micah, what's up? Micah's an old um, friend of Texlug who moved to... Uh, he and his uh, SO and their baby moved to Ohio? Was it Ohio? I think Cincinnati or something like that. Anyway, Sweet. thanks for jumping in, man. Hi, Micah. Good to Micah. see you. I always want to look over there. Hi. I'm going to put in a big sign that says, look at this thing right here. Also, you'll have to excuse us, too. We were out very late last night. Well, very late. Probably till 1.30. Uh, one in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It's not that late. We're just old. We had a, um, a friend who had a haters ball last night and um, is basically a roast. So I'm going to turn this over to the build camera now so we can watch. More stickers. Yay, stickers. So we had a, um, a haters ball, and shout out to anybody who will be watching it. Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I, knew a, I know a guy who lives in Lakewood, which is near Cincinnati, I guess. Doesn't mean anything. But um, so, yeah, we were out late with the haters ball and it was basically a roast so we had uh, six different people get up and roast the girl whose birthday it was along with everybody else in the room yeah and then they you know it's just like a, another roast where they uh, get everybody who's in attendance actually whether you're there or not mm -hmm. so yeah, no um, one was spared no one was spared but it was a fantastic time so I didn't that's all to say that w today was like kind of a blow off day it was uh, filled with a lot of sleeping late and quick naps and binging of TV shows and ordering in of food because we were just not. Oh, and let me tell you, I it's been a long time since I've been able to finish an entire thing of Pad Thai. It was really good. But it was really good tonight. I feel like I'm going to burst. What is this? So that's a box that's going to have capes in it. Uh, they put cloth in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a late night. So to us. answer your question, Micah, I'm not building anything currently. I'm in sort of a um, recovery mode. I am going to, I have to, that reminds me, I need to message uh, um, Synthetic Mason tomorrow or tonight maybe if I can remember to and figure out where we're going to meet up. Um, I have an idea about what to build next and uh, we'll just have to see if it comes together. I think it's going to be fun. Um, it's with another uh, Texas or Austin person who is part of the lug, but doesn't show up to the meetings. I think a whole lot has been to a few meetings, but. So question, Yeah. when there's these bags inside the other one, can we still just like yeah. dump them all out? Okay. Yeah, I usually do them in like, cause Piles. you'll start recognizing like certain 
part types will go with certain piles. For those of you who have never watched before, I am not a Lego person, and this is all new to me. This is maybe the fourth Lego set I've ever... Mm -hmm. And you're not going to want to keep this one because it's Star Wars. You don't care about this one, probably. I mean, I care about it as much as I cared about the farm one. The farm one and the fire truck. <laughs> or and the Lego movie one. <laughs> that's true. So I do have a couple ideas for new projects, um, and I've talked about them before. None of them are going to be as big as the capital, but... Um, I still want to build something of some scale and I do want to get back into order. I just have been out of practice um, in ordering, not practice, but out of sort of the mode of ordering parts for stuff. Um, there's a guy in Sweden who's building all my designs for all my micro fighters and I haven't built them yet. So I want to get back into actually building those because um, that was a lot of fun designing those and putting those together and getting pieces in the mail. That's it's it's a good time. Mm, mm, this go mm. in here like this? What? Because it's not going. Yeah. Why isn't it going? I don't know. Because it's probably at a weird Doing angle. Doing it wrong. I'm not going to help. So I didn't get a chance to watch... Um, I need the help. Well, here, try this. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch Degrassi. Yeah, that's okay, though. Oh. <laughs> and, um... So I don't have any Degrassi to talk about. I know you guys are crushed about it. I know that you were crushed that you didn't watch it. The, yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to watch it because um, um, I was binging The Boys all day today. And, oh, man. And I was binging so good. Boston Legal. So talk about Boston Legal for a second. I'm going to go grab my phone. Um, Make sure the mic's so up here. So here's the thing about Boston Legal. Okay, I love the show. That was always um, one of my... James Browder's watching. Hi, James. Um, I'm a huge fan of James Spader, um, and it was one of my favorite shows when it was on. Um, but it's different watching it through 2019 uh, eyes. There's a lot of sexual harassment going on in that law firm. It's like watching... Um Friends, friends again or something yeah, where you're like, like god you guys are all homophobic assholes yeah you're all terrible people and it's like that it wouldn't be so bad except they always take the stance that the women actually enjoy it even when they say stop no like it's just very disturbing yeah so like can we still watch stuff like that and still enjoy it even though it's like offensive like for some reason i didn't find it offensive when i was hmm. 23 i'm gonna share this um, or I don't remember finding it offensive. Maybe yeah. I did and I forgot. Well, um, a lot of, like you said, a lot of that's kind of colored by the age you are and the age yeah. that you're watching it. And it's kind of, um, it really depends on your sensibilities too. I mean, some people might not find it offensive, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think most people today would find it offensive. It's, it's pretty like blatant, um, Star Wars. I can't type Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. All right. If you build one, you could have backed out. If you built two, you could have hooked three. There is no going back. And yes, this is for you. Now, official Lego holic. <laughs> so I like that brick X. Um, I also like that she's actually built more sets than I have in the past like month. It's true. But to be fair, you built an entire capital. So. I did. So, um, I don't know that there is a comparison. So I'm taking a little time off just because I'm, I, I feel gun shy a little bit. Like I'm gonna just drop a bunch of money and buy a ton of brick and just go crazy on something when I know that's not. You know what we could buy instead of brick? A puppy. A All puppy. Right. So before we get on puppy topic, <laughs> I will say that um, I. Uh, oh, so she's watching Boston Legal. I'm watching the Amazon show The Boys, which is a. Uh, I think it's a Gareth Ennis comic book adaptation, I think, and it is fantastic. Oh my goodness, it is so. It I mean, it's just really well written, but it reminds me a lot of. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm gonna try not to ruin anything, but um, the main superhero Homelander reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Greg Kinnear's character from. Uh, if you haven't seen. Um, 
crap, what's that called? I'm like just started developing a huge headache. Oh no. Um, Mystery Men with Ben Stiller and Janine Garofalo and uh, William H Macy and um, that other guy. Crap. <laughs> oh, that guy. The Blue Raja. What was his name? What? The guy who's the Blue Raja, who's like every voice in The Simpsons and anyway, Hank Azaria. Oh, I was like. So Greg Kinnear's, um, I forget what the character's name is, but Greg Kinnear's like the ultimate Superman kind of character, but he's like branded and he's got, you know, talking points and everything. It reminds me so much of Homelander in this. Do I have this positioned right? Um. Wait, no, it's supposed to be. <laughs> so anyway, it's very good. Um, I'm like most of the way through the sixth episode and it's, it's getting, there's a lot of really creepy parts and a lot of really horrendously grotesque. I mean, it hits you right away with that speedster running through a person. And I keep like in slow motion, you just yeah. see like her spine and her jaw and you're just like, oh my God, that like, we're five minutes into the show. I keep looking up at the worst parts too. Yeah. And I have to warn her. I'm like, this is going to be bad. Don't look up. And then of course the first thing I do is look up. Cause... What's up, Tucker? Tucker's in the chat. Hi, Tucker. Tucker's, I, hey, Mixer's working. Woo! Finally. Stupid 24-hour waiting period. That was the dumbest. Anyway, oh, I'm glad no, it's working. Oh, where's his legs? They're around here somewhere. He's missing his legs. It looks like it's supposed to be all together. There they are. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, Tucker, yeah. you're just joining us. Hey, thanks for the host, Tucker. Appreciate it. This is what we're drinking tonight. Oktoberfest. I think I've had this one on the stream before. I like it. It's a little sharp, but it's um, it's pretty tasty. Tucker, are you hungover? Yeah, how are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> I didn't get to sleep till maybe... I mean, we got... We got back at like 1.30. 1, 1 1.30. Yeah. Um, and then I find, my stupid cat woke me up at like 5, and then I couldn't really go back to sleep. Um... And then I made potato, or potato, uh, banana pancakes. Potato pancakes are latkes. They are. Um, I made banana pancakes for the kids. Rowan was in town from college today, so we went over to the lady's house and hung out and had breakfast and chit-chatted for a little bit. And then came back and just did F all, all day. Yeah, like, it's... I mean, I did some, you know, a couple chores around the house, but I just... At one point we got excited that Futurama was on Hulu, so we watched like two episodes and it then fell, fell asleep. asleep. Yeah. Because we were just tired. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. So the boys is really good. Um, I don't really have any more to say about that. I almost feel like I want to go get my sets that I've already put together and like start taking them apart. Just like into a big bucket while I'm sitting I mean, here. As long as you don't get it into my pile, because that will be very confusing for me. Yeah, it will be. Okay, we got the mini fig. Mini fig. Where do we put them? Nope. Um, I think if we do it like this, because it'll look cool. Like he's standing there. Um, so, I made you a sandwich today, that was something. While I was barefoot, I was literally- Barefoot in the kitchen. I was literally barefoot in the kitchen making myself a sandwich, and he's like, hey hon, can you make me a sandwich too? I'm like, if I were pregnant right now, it would be almost perfect. Not pregnant, by the way. No rumors. Oh, but that's sweet to think that you are uh, it's, almost perfect. Yeah, uh, it's, it's almost perfect. It's sweet to think that my eggs aren't old and I could still bear children. I don't think I can. So point. Tucker said he's not hungover because he didn't drink much. This one had, <laughs> she probably had more than I did. I think I did. That raspberry beer was really good. Yeah, that, the Founders Raspberry. Yeah, even though they tried ras to give me a stout. Ras I Brewer. Ordered, I ordered the raspberry beer, which is a nice, doesn't even taste like beer, and they gave me a stout at first. I'm like, this is not what yeah. I Yeah, and then she's like, no, it's fine. I'll just drink it. And I'm like, you don't like stouts. I don't. But Go I back and get the right one. She's rather, like, I don't want to. I would rather drink a stout than have to. So I just grabbed it, and I was just like, uh, you gave her this lady the wrong one. Yeah, this lady. This, this random lady who this I have random, no Yeah, idea I'm just going to kind of go yeah. be the, the bar justice warrior. So the uh, the... Yeah, the Rubeus, that's what it was. It was really good. So stinking good. Um, so the, I think the roast went pretty well. Um, everybody got, I think, as much grilling as they expected. And I think the grilling was kind of expected. Like, I don't think most things were out of character or out of sorts or... Um, and I was honestly really impressed with some of the delivery. Like... The we people have funny who, friends. Yeah, the people who got up and did stuff, full marks, man. They yeah, did fantastic. 
I really enjoyed it. And it, I mean, that sounds um, disingenuous I to say knew I don't. Were funny. Yeah, I knew they were funny because we like hanging out with them. You know, it's like we wouldn't hang out with dullards. I don't think. I mean, except for Tucker. Oh, he's kind of boring. That's not no, true, Tucker. Kidding. Don't listen to him. Yeah, how's the podcast thing going today? <laughs> Who's that? It's oh, Tucker. Is that Tucker? Yeah. <laughs> the podcast is going well. Yeah. All right, Chip. Oh man. So, are we going to talk about whether or not we should get a puppy? All right. So the big, <laughs> the the small canine mammal in the room. Yeah. Okay. The four hundred pound dog in the room. Let me just start from the beginning. All right. I innocently went to Petco because they were doing. A um, th- there's a rescue in Austin called. Okay, you keep rescue. talking. I'm gonna get a box and start yeah. taking stuff apart. There's a rescue in Austin called We Rescue, and they um, we as in W-E-E. we as in W E E because they do little bitty dogs, um, and they have an event at uh, Petco in the Arboretum once a month, and we had been once before, and I decided Ben had something to do, so I'm like, you know what? I want to get out of the house. I don't just want to sit in the house all day. So I'm going to be productive and go look at cute little puppies um, because eventually I'm going to want another one. It's just going to happen. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have a 12-year-old border collie mix named Allie. I think everybody who is, knows. I think everybody knows. If anyone, everyone that knows me knows, but Allie is my best friend and my world other than Ben. Um, but she's getting older. She's not going to be around forever. And I would like her to have a friend for her final days. Um, and she likes the cat. Like, she gets along. Um, hey, Goldie's hey, hosting Goldie. us. Hey, um, Goldie. So, they Thanks all, for the host, yo. They get along. Yes, thank you. Um, but she needs a dog friend. She needs another dog friend. But, you know, I wasn't actually going. You know, the thing with the rescues is you don't go and adopt right then and there. They, there's a process. They have to interview you, fill out an application, they have to interview you, they have to come visit your home, they have to make sure that, you know, the animals in the house get along with the animals, um, uh, the animal that you're adopting, and um, so it's a whole process. You can't impulse buy. Right, with a, with a and they do that for, because otherwise there's, it's not recidivism, but it's the same yeah. sort of, there's a lot of returning if people impulse buy puppies exactly. on Valentine's well, Day and it Christmas. A lot. And it happens too much, and it's a shame. So just my little PSA for the day. Uh, any animal that you buy, it's a commitment for their life. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and things happen. I understand things happen, but if you, know, you think you're going to have to move someplace where they don't allow animals, or you think that you're wanting to have children, and you don't think that it would be good oh, for them. Sorry, Although, you know... Puppies love kids, and kids love puppies, but, you know. Um, dogs love trucks. Dog, um, uh, sure. Um. That was a car commercial back then. Tucker says Goldie's here, she's just multitasking. We get I'm, it. I'm trying to multitask, I'm trying to talk and build, and it's not working. Um, yeah, it's, that's fun, huh? Yeah. It's hard to, like, fill the dead air while you're concentrating on something. So are there supposed to be, oh no, I lost it. Are there supposed to be So buy a baby tiger. <laughs> no. Are they supposed to be what? Four feet. No, that's that's the length. It's oh. four studs. <laughs> and you like can, that. that's actual size, so you can line it up. I think that's the right one. Yeah. Um, so, anywho, um, there, was a, we, there was a super cute dog there named Chip, which is funny because we have a friend named Chip, so we thought it would be kind of... We do? Yeah. So, you know, there's the idea that we'd have to be like, Chip, stop peeing on the carpet. And Chip, stop licking your butt. It'd be super funny because... <laughs> I think it, Chip, stop licking as, your own butt. It's is... not as funny saying it out loud now as it was when we were drunk last night. No, um, it's still funny. Okay. I still think um, it's hilarious. But, again, this was a dog that wasn't ready for adoption yet because they just picked him up from the shelter. They don't know anything about him. But he seemed to do well with kids. Um, he crawled in my lap and fell asleep for like a second and then woke up and licked my nose. Um, which was awesome. Um, so, but then I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get any dogs today. So I'm like, Hey, while I'm in this area, I'm going to run by PetSmart so I can get Allie's food because I can't get her food at Petco. So I think I'm going to stop you there. Okay. You said at the very beginning, you innocently went to a place that is 
purposefully putting dogs up for adoption, innocently, <laughs> as though that your, your intention was not to get a dog or send me lots of pictures. I mean saying look at this face look at this face look at this guy <laughs> he needs so a home isn't he so sweet yeah all right continue like, they're gonna put this guy down no yeah you're um, already uh skewing your biases yeah well um so <laughs> yeah tucker says it'll be funny when they're both in the same room and if chip actually responds to hey don't lick your ass yeah that might be awkward. he'll be like oh sorry was i not supposed to yeah oh wait you're talking to the dog um yeah, this so, headache sucks. So anyway, I went to PetSmart to go get um, food for Allie because that's where her food is. And, huh, what happened here? Um, and. And. Hold on. <laughs> And they were also having an adoption that yes, day. Yes, they're also having an adoption at. Um, Hi, Goldie. Hi, Goldie. Uh, tell Ben we need a dog. Uh, another dog. Wait, my waves look like this. Like I've got arthritis or yeah. something. Well, you are old. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I love you. <laughs> You're not old. Um, um, but anyway, so I went to that smart, and um, they were doing another adoption event through Texas Humane Heroes, which is a shelter in Cedar Park. Leander. Leander. Could it be Park. could be think, in between there. I think it's Leander. Where's uh, Crystal Falls Parkway? It's Cedar Park. Cedar Park? I think it's on Crystal. Anyway, somewhere in Leander, Cedar Park, that area. Um, and I just went to look because I've been saying, as much as I like love shelter dogs, um, I've said that the next time we get a dog, it's probably going to come from a rescue. Just because we have a cat, we want to make sure that, you know, um, it's a animal that gets along well with cats and it's just sometimes when they're in a foster home it's just kind of easier to uh what tucker says this could have been avoided by if you were to buy your dog on amazon um i don't know how i feel about buying dogs on amazon that feels highly unethical could you imagine if you ordered a dog and it would show up at your door that afternoon just knocked on the door oh my god that would be amazing it just sit there with a little bow as long as they don't put it in a box um, so anyways, go to PetSmart, they've got puppies there, and I, oh, so I said, the two, my two things were I want to adopt from a dog that's been in a uh, foster, so we know more about its personality, and I didn't want a puppy. I wanted an adult dog, um, preferably an older dog, because I hate to think about older dogs, you know, not being able to spend the rest of their life in, like, an actual home, although the foster homes are good, um. But anywho, um, I was looking at these two dogs, these two corgi mixes, who were super cute but super, super barky. Um, and I turned around and I saw this adorable little, I think, lab mix. Can we show, can you show the picture? I can, I can try. Yeah. Um, that put its little paw through the, through the, um, like the, the cage and looked at me with these sad eyes and said, take me home, take me home. So cute. Um, she was also the calmest puppy of the bunch. Um, there were a lot of kids around. She seemed to do okay around kids. I feel like, we don't have kids, but I feel like if an animal does well around kids, they're gonna do well around most other animals or most people. Look at those eyes. I don't know mm. if you can see it very well. But I mean, it, she was stinking adorable. Um, and so I texted Ben and I'm like, I just texted the picture, right? I don't think I even said, can I have it? No, you texted several pictures of several dogs. Oh gosh, but this dog was seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The good news is she's probably gonna end up getting adopted anyway. Yeah, because um, cute puppies who are like three months old do not go they unadopted. They don't stay very long, which is another thing. It makes me feel guilty that I was thinking, like, cause the puppies are all going to get adopted. Um, but, oh, he said buy your dog food on Amazon, not oh. dog. We, you misread that. Sorry, this could, <laughs> it was funnier to buy a dog on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Um, this could all have been avoided by buying your dog food. What could have, oh, oh yes. because I wouldn't have gone into PetSmart. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but doesn't, I, I buy everything else on Amazon. I feel like I should work for her dog food. 
Um, she works hard for the money. <laughs> um, so anyway, I seriously was like going over in my mind, okay, how am I going to convince Ben to... Because I'm a giant me. Scrooge when it comes to animals, well, obviously. Well, okay, and here's the thing. And Ben's like, he was like, you know, I can't stop you from it, which I thought was like permission to like do it. But again, I don't want to do a dog on an impulse buy, especially a puppy. Um, but I was like, I'm going to come home. I'm going to talk to you about it. Maybe we can go to the shelter today if she's still there. Um, but I think Ben is a hard pass on a new dog right now. Um, it's not, okay. In my defense. No, no, I'm not saying Not a hard pass. No. I did, in one of the text exchanges, say, you know, it is easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, I should have just done it. And because I'm like, you're an adult. If you want to make a choice, make a choice. (laughs) I will, will, you know, I'll deal with the fallout once it happens. But if you really want a dog, I can't tell you no. I can just offer reasons why... We shouldn't, or why I but don't want one right now, like or I and, and many him, other things. Like I explained to him, uh, this is his house too, so I would never adopt an animal without telling, without asking him first. Like that's just, it's not about like, oh, you know, he has to give me permission. Da 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 da. It's his home. Yeah. If you didn't live here, if we didn't live together, I wouldn't. Have, I would have just gotten it probably, and I'd have two dogs. Oh, right so now. now you're gonna blame me for them? No, I'm. Not, it's probably a good thing. Okay. It's probably, honestly, it's probably a good thing. Um, it's a Martha Stewart. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But my thought is, is that I'm taking this guy apart. Like, okay. Like I said, my the black ace. My thought is that I would. See, like this is to why have, I don't like having stickers. Oh, uh, well, I won't put stickers on this one. But yeah, so my thought was, is that Allie could use a friend. She seems to do better when other dogs are around. Um, she's more energetic. She's more active. So that was kind of my thought. She's playing with a toy right now. She hasn't played with a toy. In yeah. When forever. we come in here and do this, the animals get oddly yeah. freaked out. Allie they never like plays chase with each toys. other back and forth. The cat's like sitting right behind us and on bags yeah. and just like. But she does play with toys when other dogs are here because she wants true. to show off her toys to the other dogs. Well, all children do that. Yes. So she. Even like, though she's a dog and not a child. Well. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's part of it is I want her to have a friend. I, it helps her be more active. But also, There's I another know sticker. that she is not going to be here forever. And so, I will help probably help the grieving process if we already have another dog here. Um, so at the like, haters ball oh. last night. What? It's right there. Okay. Yeah. I was like, no, it's a little thing. At the haters ball last night, um, one of our friends joked that uh, she, uh, he said, now, Beth, because some people it's hard to make fun of, right? And Beth's kind of one of these people, but she the does have a few things. The reason it's hard to make fun of me is because I'm super sensitive. And yeah. People, know people are very so worried. Like a couple yeah. people came up and were like, do you think I could say this? And I'm like, honestly, I don't think you can say that. Yeah. There's a few um, things. But uh, one of our friends was like, um, Beth's here. Beth, um, I hate to say this, but Allie died like four months ago, and Ben has just been trying to keep up appearances with some the, the cunning use of puppetry and animatronics. <laughs> and then he ended it by going, hashtag Allie the Wonder Mutt, hashtag Mega Esophagus. That's and my everybody just cracked yeah. up because we all know. Yeah. But I thought it would have been funny if I went up to Tom afterwards and been like, Tom, Allie died this morning. Yeah. Like, and then he would feel guilty. The classic, my, you know, how many push-ups can your dad do? <laughs> my dad's dead. Yeah, so I wouldn't have done that to him, though, because that would be super mean. Nah, it would have been fun. It would have been super mean. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think we sh- I think we need another dog in the near future. What do you think, what internet do you community? Think, internet people? Y'all watching, should we get another dog? Press F for a dog. <laughs> Is it going to make a difference? No. I, oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, Melissa says we should get a dog. Does she? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Melissa's a cat person. You, you should have. Yeah, see? Don't point at me like I'm at fault for <laughs> your happiness. I mean... I'm not at fault. Get off. Hey. 
Get off! I have to throw something at a cat. Get off! <laughs> and just proof that cats are, are dog. No, I'm not gonna say that. That's gonna be a very unpopular opinion. What dogs are? <laughs> dogs are better than cats. I don't mean it. <laughs> I know we've got a lot of cat people on here. Actually, James, if he's still watching, is allergic to cats. So. That would be a vote in the dog camp. Oh, well, yeah. Um, no. Goldie and Tucker have like 27 cats. I they, forget how many cats do you have now? They've got three, I think, or two. Chloe and Jasmine and Brandon. What are the cats' names? I don't know. I just know Chloe. Um, we should know this. I've only known them know. for like 10 years. No, I actually didn't think I liked cats until we got this gig. Um... But no, I think Fizzgig would enjoy it. See, the other thing, too, is that Fizzgig loves Allie, and when she dies, he's going to be all alone, and he's going to be sad. So that's the argument. Yeah. Is that she keeps spinning this on me as like, you know, when Allie dies, your cat's going to be lonely. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, he's going to be like, thank God. No. The house is mine. Loves, that's not true at all. You know he loves her. You take that back. I will not... He loves her. I'm really digging this music. It's a little too guitar-y, but I like it. You know, you always say that and I can never hear it. I feel like I'm being cheated. Um, well, it's it's pumped into the OBS, so... I'm just... I don't care. Oh, you know what? I don't even think they can hear it. I didn't change the sound. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, it's not playing for everybody. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> All right, well, you're about to have sound, y'all. Or music. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. So, derp, derp, derp. This is why I need a dedicated streaming machine. Melissa is a very good friend of ours, and she thinks that we should do it. We should get a dog, so I trust her judgment. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yes, I trust her judgment. You trust Melissa's judgment? Yes, I trust her judgment. Wow, you don't know her very well, do you? I love Melissa. I know you love Melissa. So do I. I'm just <laughs> making a joke about her judgment. <laughs> For no other reason than it's fun to say, you trust that person? I love Melissa. Um, also, I think we were talking about this with Tucker last night. I think I'm going to start watching Supernatural so I can like talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah. Um, uh, y'all need to watch. Y'all need to like indoctrinate her into the cult of Supernatural. I can't believe I haven't watched it yet. You and Kelly and Cease and. Also, it would give me an excuse to hang out with Kelly and Cease and Melissa. Yeah, I mean, you'd have Not to drive that I down need to. An excuse. You have to drive down to Old Tour. I know they all live so far south. Well, Cease uh, actually, doesn't. Cease doesn't. Yeah. Um, Although, in any given. <laughs> Whoops. What just happened? It's a, it's a flick trigger missile. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I forgot they went in there, and it shot up, and now I don't know where it landed. Oh well. You should live tweet about it. I could. Do you guys do that? Do you guys live tweet when you watch? Oh, I'm sure they. I mean, we've live tweeted the Seder dinner. Yeah, that that's a fair point. Hey, your mom's on. Hi, mom. All right, put mom, the mom. We tell them that we need a new puppy. Hi, Allie. Jesus. Allie's just hanging out behind us, like she's gonna get in on this nonsense. <laughs> I wonder what she thinks, Allie. Do we need? A hey, new puppy? stop licking me. <laughs> She loves you. She no. says, She Dad, thinks please. I taste good. She, said, she doesn't Dad, love me. Please let us get a new puppy. No, she did not. Stop anthropomorphizing everything. <laughs> I know. I always have to get onto that with my students um, when I train dogs. But see, the good thing is, is that since I've, I now am trained to be a trainer, our dogs should be very well trained. You're trained to be a trainer? Yes. Who I trains think. the trainers? Other trainers. Oh, hey, that's going to start soon, that new Watchmen show on HBO. I'm excited about that. Which means you have to read slash... Slash. Read slash watch. <laughs> said slash. Slash. <laughs> new words, man. Slash. Hey, we need to come... That, that, that's a great word. Slash. Slash. We need to come up with an urban dictionary meaning for it. Or just a dictionary meaning for it. Slash. Um, so I got through also... Um, Carnival Row, which is fantastic. I really, really liked that show. That I was also know, one where probably. every time I looked up, it was just entrails. Yeah, like, well, was, again, it was like the boys. I just know I'll probably need a kitten soon so that I'm not devastatingly crushed when my cats die. Exactly. No, <laughs> no. Okay, and I like how... 
<laughs> so that I'm not devastatingly crushed when my cats die. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Mel, that's exactly Mel's what Mel's super I'm in saying. touch with her feelings. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying, though. Like, because you guys all know how I feel about Allie. Like, she's been the only... Hi, Josh. Consistent. Hi, Josh. She's been the only consistent part of my life for 11 years, 12 years. And we've lived in three different states. We lived in many different apartments, gone through many jobs. She's been through a lot of a lot of boyfriends. Um, I beg guess. your pardon? Since I've had her for 12 years, I dated people before you, honey. What? I know. You're not a virgin? <laughs> My mom is on right now, so yes. She's not a virgin? Yes, I am. Um, we're just going to go with that. Um, so, anywho. Um, yeah, so I'm really worried that when she goes, like, it's just going to be devastating. And I mean, it is going to be devastating. I know that for a fact. So, I'm going to need a... <laughs> Emotional support puppy already there. What? All right. <laughs> so that's the big topic of conversation we've had the last yeah, ben just couple won't days. Yeah, about us getting a dog. Oh my god, I'm the worst, y'all. <laughs> just kidding. Um, they know that's not true. They do. Uh, um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, you know, Mel's the only one that has uh, chimed in, so that's one to nothing for us getting a dog. No, it's not one to nothing. It's two to one. I'm also not totally opposed. I know. I, I know just... you're not. <coughs> I'm probably, like, stop talking about it, because I feel like the I, more I joke about it, the less... I think you're ruining happen. your chances. Like, you're like, we should get a dog. I'm like, yeah, that sounds not a bad idea. We'll talk about it. And now, and now I'm like, would you stop it? Just shut up. If you mention dog one more time. <laughs> But Allie needs a friend, other than Fizz Gig, because Fizz Gig just wants to go for the jugular. He doesn't know he how to play. He goes for her jugular, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't know how to play with a dog. He just goes. His ears lay back, and he goes, lunge. Yeah. And Allie's like, get off. And we think he's playing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is, because he, he could hurt her if he wanted to, but she would eat him. Um, so maybe someday when we're doing this, we'll have a new puppy to show everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be a great stream. It would be. I should, if we ever go to a place, I should stream from wherever you we should. go. You should. You should. You can show all the other dogs. Um, but as long as I'm not monetizing in it. In all seriousness, though, guys, um, Austin mm. Animal Center just had, like, their free weekend. They do that on occasion where they do adoptions for free. So Son of a biscuit. Cats and dogs, so keep your eyes open. Um, they usually do it when the shelters are full, I think. Um, and then Texas Humane Heroes is the other place. Um, they're a little bit more expensive. They're, it's $175 for puppies and I think $125 for adult dogs um but it's still how much the, lego that could buy the money goes to the shelter like seriously it helps other dogs so it's completely worth it um something's not right something's not right because now i can't see wait a second wait a second that's okay hold on i did something terribly wrong ooch, 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 ooch. Okay, I'm... What's up? What you got? All right, first of all... It's a different color. Oh, my bad. Um... Yeah, that looks right. And then here, there's one of these guys. Is it another one in front? Oh. I see. Well done. <laughs> Shut up. Shut I, up, baby. I know it. Wait, what's, is this for... Look, this is harder than I'm used to doing because it's for 7 to 12-year-olds. So. Fair enough. Give me a break. Mm -mm. 
Nobody said anything. Carry on. Okay. Just build. I don't want to miss anything. It's All of our six viewers and nobody on Facebook is saying anything, except James said that one thing. <laughs> it's hard to uh, build and talk. Yeah, it really is. You should try um, doing designing. No. Because I, I end up just talking about what I'm doing, like narrating what I'm doing. Are you like the Ron Howard of Lego? He wasn't. Yeah, every show that she's talking about lately is like, okay, well, I'm going to keep watching Rest of Development. And it's like, I'm like, no, 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 are you Arrested watching Rest of Development? I don't know why I keep saying Arrested Development. Bad out. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, so we got this and then this. So how's everyone's weekend? It wasn't like a long weekend or anything. It's just kind of a regular weekend. But we basically got like a week left for, uh, of summer. Fall officially starts like next week. I think we're supposed to be getting some like actual like cool weather too. Well, I would be all in favor of that because I'm tired of the burst into flames there's weather like we've been a, having. There's like a not a tropical storm, but there's some sort of storm brewing in the Gulf. I think I could be completely wrong about this. Don't take my word for it. Hey, let's look it up. While yeah. you build, I'll check there's the some weather. Sort of, wow, this is a really entertaining <laughs> stream. <laughs> the, our our weather, weather stream. Yeah. For the next. Your next seven day outlook. You know what's funny? My what? dad would totally watch a weather stream. I, uh, well, I watch, I watch the weather channel. I love the weather channel. There's a pollen thing. You really do marry or date your dad. In the future, every restaurant is Taco Bell and every show is a rest of yeah. development. <laughs> yeah, yes. pretty much. Not hourly, 10 day. Ooh. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday through Friday, we have 50% chance of rain every day. Yeah. And the highs are in the 80s. Only in ah. Texas can it be in the 80s and it be considered a... A cool... What's up, Ingrid? Hello. Thanks for popping in just for a little while. We appreciate that. So, do you want me to not use the stickers? Because I don't have I would to. appreciate not using not the stickers. Because I'll just put the stickers back in the instruction booklet. Uh-huh. And then save it for later. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you putting your stuff in my stuff? You've I think... you got your chocolate in my peanut butter. Yeah, I think I totally got chocolate in your peanut uh -oh. butter. I'm going to leave that piece there. Uh-oh. These pieces I know, but I'm not sure about that because there's another one here. Why are you trying to mess and up? And I think game? this one's mine too, but it doesn't help that all the sets that I have are all Star Wars. Where is this guy? What guy? Is that this? Oh. this song is really rad. It sounds like a yay '80s. It kind of sounds like a uh, Stranger Things riff, a little bit. Oh, the melody. We have seen. Speaking of Stranger Things, we get to see it too. It. It. It too. It too was another thing that we saw. I didn't like it as much as the first one, but I still liked it. It's still good. It's still I feel good. like it's one of these where it could be just maybe a, a four-hour movie. Feels like it's too deep. Did I use the wrong one? Did you do two of them? Oh, you know what I did? I thought it was there was one down here. I got it. Wait, 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 stop, stop. What? Let me see that one. Okay, yeah. You gotta stack two of them and then put it in there. Gotcha. I thought it was saying I thought it was saying to do I don't know what I thought. You put that one there and you put the whole thing in there. I thought it was trying to do like a sandwich. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a JRPG song. Yeah, kind of. I like it. <clears throat> Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, this is right. Okay. I don't know if, like, my depth perception is off, but sometimes it just doesn't look right. It looks like, wait, this is not in the right spot. And then I look harder, and it's like, okay, it is in the right spot. That was a really interesting story, guys. Yeah, stickers make do make it harder to wash later if you wanted to wash your Lego. I just don't like the fact that I, yeah, because it leaves a gunk on them sometimes. The the newer stuff doesn't as much as the older stuff did. Is gunk an official term? What? I'm just asking. Are you what? An, are you an official term? Yes. Um, <laughs> I I pinched my finger between them. Does that ever happen to you? Is that sometimes? I uh I got 
gun shy on stickers back when the UCS sets were out, the first UCS sets for Star Wars, like the the TIE Interceptor and the X-Wing and the Tantive, um had these uh, one by eight, about that big, tiles that you would put, so you'd get you know, a bunch of those together and then you'd put a sticker over the whole thing. But then if you ever wanted to use those tiles, you'd have to take that sticker off and it was not a good sticker and it kind of fell apart, which means those tiles were kind of just trashed. And it was, you know, six nice one by eight tiles. But at the same time, the UCS sets were very much, um, I'm gonna put this up on a shelf and not worry about it for the rest of whatever. Uh -uh. Yeah, I can't imagine having a full city. Ingrid says she is washing her city and is taking days. I'm repeating everything because I don't trust that the chat bots are actually relaying stuff to other chat programs. Especially since I don't think they've got Facebook figured out still. So all the people in Facebook can't see all the people in YouTube and whatnot. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That's a neat way to do that. I like that. I appreciate that. I don't know what you're talking about. Just a design choice here to get um, some stuff built in. I like it. Hmm. How's it going? Good. Good. Just trying to. I feel like everything's lopsided. You're basically building rocks. Oh. So it's supposed to be uneven. Well, alrighty then, that explains it. Yep. So what else happened this weekend? We had a band, we had a performance on Friday out in Elgin, and that was a, I wouldn't say it was a bad performance, but the, um, where we had to park the trailers and the buses and then get everything into the stands was kind of a, Whoever designed that stadium was not great. So the performance wasn't bad. It was just giving it. The performance the was a little better. Um, I I feel like they're they're coming together as a group. Yeah, it takes. I mean, they're, it takes a little bit. They uh they had their opening song. They got they all got into the stands and played their school the alma mater song, and it was a half a beat off between two halves of the band, so it was just really discordant and the the director was not happy. And of course, there's like hand motions that go with it, you know, the number one and back and forth when they're playing it. And uh, you can see all the, the band parents kind of over in the sides and they're doing the thing and they're kind of like, what is, what's, what song is being done over there? We don't even, we can't even tell what's going on. It was bad. But then the rest of the night was fine. And then afterwards, uh, some band parents and I went out to get some beer and pizza and talk over a broken marimba and because a marimba broke. I heard. And then the next day we went and washed 250 uniforms. That was the day I went and looked at puppies. Yeah. She's like, well, you have fun doing your parental stupid stuff. Yeah. I'm going to go look at puppies. And I did. And you did. And she did. Ron Howard. Yeah, I'm digging this playlist. This is a good playlist tonight. So Ingrid, when you're washing stuff, are you taking it all apart? Or are you just like taking each kind of building or whatever and then kind of moving it over to a special area and then like vacuuming it and dusting it and air canistering it, stuff like that? Or are you actually taking it all apart and washing all the pieces? Because that would be insane. I can't imagine taking apart like the cinema or the, the corner store or the pet shop or anything like in one day. What is this? What's this? What's this? Um, hmm. Did you think I was going to like... I don't know what you were going to do, but I was here for it. Oh look, more stupid pieces with stickers on. Why did I put stickers on all these? No. Oh. No. Oh. Uh. So last week I left work at like 
2 o'clock. Yep. 2 o'clock. All right, well, like noon, actually, because I had a massive headache. And I think it's the pollen that's around lately, because I'm um, still just dying of whatever's in the air right there now. There was it's actually just... my weather bug app sent a pollen alert. Yeah, like it beeped and everything. Taking it all apart. Oh, my God. I would not wish that on anybody. I don't have a city, but how, how many sets would you say that I have? On display. I'm not sure. I've I got no one, two, Thank three, you, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, and then in the other room, four cars. So seventeen, the Batmobile or the Tumbler, eighteen, twenty-two, because I have four architecture sets. I've got these two, so that's twenty-four, Voltron. Speeder bike, ship in a bottle, yellow submarine, Statue of Liberty, like 28 sets, I guess. And I don't like going in. And... Oh yeah, from the fire. Oh God, no, thank you. Oh no. I really hope everybody's okay. Was it just all that stuff? It's just smoke problems, right? Did anything burn? I know it was that, was it your neighbor's kitchen? So like burned all the way through? Sorry to be peppy with the music when someone's talking about the fire that happened yeah, in their, that's, that was not their house. Mom said I'm pretty in pink. Yeah, isn't that a great color? Thanks, it's a very loud shirt. It's a very loud shirt. Works well with TV. We're not really on TV. I, I need to uh, email Will and see if he's heard from the... I'm sure they would have contacted, would have contacted us contacted together. You. Yeah, I was going to say they would have contacted both of you. I have not heard from the LEGO TV people. I am anxiously worried that I said something to one of the casting people and they're like, nope, this guy's a dick. What did you say? Well, it's when he approached me and was like, hey, I'm just wondering if you could help me get to the rest of the lug. And mm -hmm. I'm like, honestly, and I, you know, I didn't want to sugarcoat it, but I also didn't want to be a dick about it. But I was kind of like, hey, man, um, we have a very vibrant community. We are very communicative. Uh, our email list is updated daily. We talk on Facebook all day. Not all day, but every day if somebody's posting something new. I was like, as soon as this casting thing came out, um, I emailed the whole group and I put something on Facebook about it. And we, you know, everybody had discussions about wanting to pair up and getting partners and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it was about a, uh, a couple weeks later, and I was actually approached before, like it all went live on their site and everything. Yeah, don't eat his cooking. Uh. Oh, that's awful, man. I do not envy you. I'm very sorry you're going through that. Um, but then, so when he messaged me, and I'm not going to deal with, hang on. I'm not going to deal with songs that are singing. They're singing in that one. I don't want to hear singing. So anyway, I basically told the guy, you know, we appreciate you trying to do this, but to be honest, the more you do it, it looks spammy and people are not very fond of that because it just looks like you joined our group just to get people to go apply for this show, which I can guarantee you people have already applied for. And if they haven't by now, they're not going to based on you constantly updating the same link on our group page. And I'm like, I wish you luck. And my partner and I have already applied for it and I hope we do well on it, but I, I don't think you're gonna get any more from our group right now. So I don't think it's, you know, but I'm sure the two aren't I don't think it's intertwined at all. But of course my anxious, cause then of course we heard, I mean, Will and I talk to these people like once every couple of days to get stuff. And now it's been like two weeks But it could more. be that like, they're making their decision. Like yeah, yeah. I'm the sure they're still like getting more people and yeah. like finalizing their uh, packages that they sent yeah, to the. Uh... I think paranoid. Oh, thanks. No puppy for you. Hi. Hi. I'm saying that I think you're gonna Hi. make it. something that I 
Yes, my dear. Driving people crazy that watch. How is this? I'm so tired of these headphones. I need new headphones. What did I do? What she got going on? goes here, right? Did you do this? Yeah. Okay. That's over there. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to be like, yeah. So now I'm confused as to what. Just like that. Oh, it's, it goes, okay. I was expecting it to be <laughs> a different way. So here, here's, we got this. So this is what I usually do is I keep instruction books and I keep the instructions with the oh, sticker okay. sheets. So now I'm going to take all these pieces that have stickers and peel them off and try to put them back on the sticker sheet. Interesting. Yeah, it's probably not gonna end up very successful, but we'll see. This is the first time I've tried it. I should actually probably go get tweezers or a knife. Oh, I have a knife. Why do you have a knife? For this exact reason. Well. See, cause then you can, you can get the corner of it without sticking your fingernail under there and uh, scratching the, the Lego. Um, I might be missing a piece. You nope. are not. I got it. How do you know? Because Lego's never missing pieces. What What was that? What, ne what never misses pieces? Lego is never missing That's pieces. That's not what you said, though. I said Lego is never missing pieces. Oh, Lego is never. I see. I thought you were calling it Legos. No, I just <laughs> Lego's never missing pieces. Am I allowed to suggest another person's Lego channel? Yeah, sure. We don't stand on ceremony here. Maybe somebody we already know. Whoops. Uh-oh. Do you have that separator thingy? This? Always have a separator. What is it called? A brick separator. Should I just do this? I'm just trying to get this piece off because I put it on the wrong way. Uh, one second. I got a sticker in my hand. Donnez-moi. I don't know what that means. So, I would take that piece off first, and then you can hold this other side down and take that piece off. Okay. No, I can't remember where it all went. Let's see. Oons, 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 oons. Oh, I'm old. I can't see without taking off my glasses. I need both bifocals like yesterday. It's going to be my next big thing to admit. That you need bifocals? Yeah, then go to the actual eye doctor and actually get them. Oh, Ingrid, if you're going to try to link something, you may not be able to. If you want to listen to Cowie's Creations Lego Master parody song of Senorita. All right. What did I just do? Oh, I will totally do that. I may not do that right this second, but I've got the chat saved. So I will go, as soon as this is done, check it out. Right? Just nod and say, yeah. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I'm really into what I'm building right now. Oh, bless my little heart. <laughs> I've waited five years to hear that. <laughs> Have you? No, not really. <laughs> so I knew you were that easy to please. You would have made me a sandwich yesterday? <sighs> I made you one today. That was pretty baller. I'm like, hey, baby, make me a sandwich. Well, you're already in there cooking dinner. I'm barefoot. I wasn't cooking. To be fair, making a sandwich doesn't count as cooking dinner. Right. However, making a smoothie does, and ordering Chinese food. Oh man. What's wrong? My head. I 
Like it started like two hours ago. Can we swear on this stream? Can we what? Swear on this stream? I don't fucking think so. Well, so I, um, she's a T-fall, okay. I don't have enough viewers to be monetized, so I'm not worried about any, I mean, the streaming platforms might say, okay, well you use swear words or you drink or you talk about certain things. So the market is teen or adult or something like that when they do verifications, but I'm not selling any products and I'm not making any money or anything like that. So I don't care at this point. I've already read all that. Okay, this wants me to put stickers on things, so here you go. Take these. Oh, where do you want me to put them in the book? Just put them in the instructions. Just leave them out, and then when you're done, just put them in the instructions somewhere. Please. I suppose. Please. Oh, my God. No. But Gelfling friend. Gelfling and Skeksis friends. Are they, though? Simon Pegg did such a great job with that voice. Like, when I found out it was him, I'm like, there's no way that was him. It's so good. He's a very talented man. Oons, oons, oons. So... Oh, shaved that one. Damn. Well... That'll ruin a piece. Okay, can you help me put this cape on? Cause I don't know if I, it looks, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It's not a cape. Or a whatever. Let me see. Yeah. You just go burp, burp, burp. But it looks different. It looks like it should just have one. No. There's the first one, there's the second one, and the third one. Oh. Okay. You say so. I do, Beth. I do say so. All right, then. Take my toys and go home. <laughs> um, well, this is interesting. This goes in the bucket. What's up, Brick Ninja? Hello. So Brick Ninja, uh, I don't have the backlog of building that Kevin does. So it's like a one set at a time thing. Mm -hmm. And it's usually like the day of we go out and buy a $20 set. Uh, Look at that. Look at that hot nonsense. I got those stickers back on that sheet. What? You're so what? Um, she is building, where's the box? She's building Octo. Building this guy. It was on sale for 20 bucks at HEB, which is our local grocer. So she's building that. And I am just taking old sets apart to go into the bucket to be sorted um. later. And now these parts will probably need to be cleaned because they have guff. They have junk on them. They have guff on them? Well, they get this little sticker stuff. See the little... Oh, yeah. So I need to set those aside. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 my mm. nails are gross and never like looking at my hands. Is that what you're worried about? Your nails yeah. are gross? I should have gotten a manicure before. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm streaming tonight, so I have to I get a manicure. manicure. You know how it is. No. All right, what do I take apart next? Uh, I just built the, the TIE Fighter. I guess I could take apart Sweet Mayhem's ship. Actually, I like that ship. I might keep that one together. Let's take something else apart. Um, I'll take Yoda's ship apart. Okay, so this means I'm on bag two, right? If it says, if it's got a bag that has a number two mm -hmm. on it, yes. Is this all, I, I don't know where this guy goes. It didn't tell me where this guy goes. Is uh, it just an extra? It's, it's a figure. It's, a, it's, it's the, a cord. Uh, cord, yeah. So here's extra pieces. All right. Uh, Extra, I always feel like, pieces. well, I'm, maybe, should I keep them just in case they belong somewhere? No. Okay. 
I feel ah. like extra pieces always end up, I feel like it's like Ikea when you're done and you have extra pieces. It's like, oh god, is this all gonna fall apart on me? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Any new macros? No, I had to take, I'll tell you what I had to do. I'll show you what I had to do. I had to do. I had to take this guy apart because the instructions I had on Rebrickable were not good. So, this is the uh, Luker, Luker Hulk class battle ship. Um, and I'll show you why to take it apart. Do, 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 do. Is this Ray? What? Is this Ray? That is Ray. That is Octo Ray. Not to be confused with Octoon uh, Bono. Octoon Baby. So, I had to take this guy apart. This is the uh, Lucre Hulk class battleship. Um, and I had to. Hey, Doc! What's shaking, man? Thanks for coming by. I had to take this guy apart because the back end of this. You can't really tell. I'm gonna cover up oh, her building. Stay because of her ponytail. Uh. No, oh, there she <laughs> goes. So if you can see, there's three sections of those curved bits, right? Which means instead of that, instead of sitting like that, like it should, it's like a 45 degree angle. So this back end, it's magic. How does that sit in there? You ask. How does it then? Well, I'm going to show you. I don't really care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. Just kidding. Um, so it sits in here with a couple Travis bricks. That doesn't focus really well, but I'll pull that apart in a second. So I realized that my instructions that are up on Rebrickable are not good. But instead of like going back through and saying, okay, I'm going to redo all the instructions. I'm just like, you know what? I'll just post pictures of it in its final thing and then you guys can just build from there which is kind of a crappy thing to do but whatever that is a crappy thing to do Ben. yeah that's that's why i said it was a crappy thing to do beth that's what you should know it's crappy so this is really goofy in here this goes <laughs> and it's now it's falling apart because it's not put together well So you can see that sits like that, and then inside, this is on a swivel plate, and there's those two, like not full Travis bricks, but the the two on either side, and that's on a that's um, on a turntable, so that when you turn it over, it it sits 90 degrees, or it sits perpendicular to the rest of it. So then when you put it together, you can see that back end is sitting kind of odd. And then it'll go, this thing will go in here, like as so. And it's it's a slightly off bit. Hey, baby. Yeah, what'd you do? I don't know. Um, where but that's you? what I've been, that's what I've been doing lately because I realized I totally, I got a message on it that's like, hey, I've been following your instructions and uh, this back end thing doesn't look right. I'm like, yeah, I realized it was a, it was junk. So let me just take a picture of I'm, an exploded view of how I did it. And I'm not quite getting where this guy goes. Where what guy goes? This guy. The little cherry? Yeah. In a box. But I don't see a box. Did That's you not build a box yet? I don't think it told me to build one, but maybe it did. I don't know. Where would the box even go? Um, Does it pull out somewhere? That is very interesting. Okay, so there's a little hook. Let me see. 
Did anything pop up? Oh. Well. Okay. See, that's why I think they just said, yeah, they should say to remove that. What is the point of that? So that when you're playing, you can go, look, there's little berries in there for Luca Skywalker to eat. Oh, would you say it like that? Exactly like no. that. Luca Skywalker. I'm not okay with that. Luke, I feel like Skywalker. it's somehow racist, and I'm not sure how. Ah. Um, so I did, uh, Brig Ninja, I also did a, um, a design of a Lugga Beast micro fighter. Um, it wasn't my design, but um, this guy that, I don't know if you're on the Star Wars face, uh, Star Wars Lego Facebook group, but he's this guy that, yeah, she was staying up there. He's this guy who's um, has the largest fleet of micro fighters in, in Sweden or in Europe. Um, so, and he's built a lot of my designs. Um, oh, later, Brick. Bye. Brick Ninja. I will continue the story regardless. Anyway, so he asked, uh, if I could reverse engineer one of these guys' designs. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take a look at it. And I did it in a couple hours, so it worked out well. Uh, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to hate my life for doing it. Yeah, that was bad. Was it bad? It was bad. It was bad. It was bad as a bubble bath. <laughs> oh my gosh, when is the new season of... Uh, Big Mouth? Big Mouth come out. Uh, October sometime. Hmm. Yeah, that's not right at all. Are you talking about mine? No, I'm talking about mine. Oh, well, I don't think mine is either. Um, oh, there's so much dead air right here. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. What happened to Tucker and Melissa? Did we lose them? I think we lost them. I think we lost them. Because you wouldn't get me a puppy. That's exactly why they stopped watching. I think it was then. Look, I don't... Listen. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um, you know what I haven't listened to in a long time? My, My favorite, favorite murder. murder. Any of you don't know this by now, Beth is a huge true, true crime, crime person. So My Favorite Murder is one of her favorites. And then also, um, last podcast on the left. Oh, they, their new episode came out. I need to listen to it. You can't make plans, Doc. You just don't like doing it, or how does that work for you? Because I actually like doing it. It's just tedious. I also find a lot of, when I end up doing some micro fighter stuff, I find a lot of flaws in the designs when I'm doing... Um, uh, instructions for it because I'm like well this doesn't make any sense and this would fall apart and I get an appreciation for what they do with actual sets because I'm like well now that I've reversed this reverse engineered this a little bit it um, it does not make any sense so I'm gonna kind of redesign it um, so that's always kind of fun but yeah I can see it being kind of stupid and tedious Okay, there. Ha! Ah, I got it back together. This is one of my favorites. It just looks so great. I love it. I have two in-home patients that take up my time. Oh, well, yeah. I could see that. I don't. Oh, we just have a special needs dog. We do have a special needs dog. All right, so you got 12 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this one. All right, then don't get to where you, we get to 9:30, and then you. Uh, then I have to make the meatballs. Make it a meatballs. Make it a meatballs for my special needs dog. Yep. Um, and then I'm gonna go back and finish my episode of The Boys because it's fantastic. So good. So I'm gonna take apart this guy, Yoda's ship. I need to start taking things apart and sorting because I'm running out of space for stuff to display. Um, 
Um, because apparently I can't stop buying things like, like a normal person. I think I'm missing a piece. You're not missing a piece. Lego doesn't. <laughs> okay, then. I have to tow the party line on that. Then where is this piece? A two by three? Yeah. That's a good question. Is it under the instructions? No. Did I put it here when I didn't need to? Did you put it there already? It said you need one. But then there's one here too. Okay, let me see where it goes. On the other side over here? Yeah. Huh, interesting. You know what, Beth? Maybe you are missing a piece. So I would start, I usually start breaking stuff around and then kind of just shuffling things and I usually find it. But, I mean. There's not a lot out here. All right, so. I don't think there was one in that bag. Did we drop one? I don't think so. You wanna check your bag again, just to be safe? Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Do you have that piece? Oh, shit. A two by three in gray? I think I have it in my disposed parts over here. I wonder if it accidentally... Maybe I picked it up. Yeah. I'm trying to sabotage my build. Sabotage! Call on you now, sabotage. Um, Droid. It's another R2 unit to add to my 47 other R2 units. I don't know if I should keep him out or what. Yeah, I guess I'll keep him out. Sometimes I'm like, man, I don't want to keep these out. I like this Yoda that came with this ship. With his, uh... What's up, Hoosier? I didn't even see you come in here. Oh, Tucker's on. He's a, he's on Xbox. I like this Yoda. He's got the spongy or the rubbery ears. I like this one. And he had a place to store his lightsaber. I'm trying to remember where that was. Or maybe he didn't. Anyway. You're burpy tonight. I'm drinking beer. What would you That's do? That's no excuse then. Hoosier and Doc, or uh, Ingrid and Doc, are having a conversation about home health care. Aww. I think that's nice, bringing that's people nice. together. Totally the aim of my whole channel. To bring people together? In home health care conversations. Because, you know, people need health care. Oh. oh, sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> Now, we have this guy. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the cat has just never sat next to me on a bag like this for this long in his life. <laughs> um, hmm. I just placed three Bricklink orders and I'm off to bed. I am with you, Hoosier. I think I need to place a couple Bricklink orders for, um, I think I'm gonna do Ray's speeder next. Micro fighter, um, and I've got like one or two others that I'm like really close on having the pieces for on my own. So it's like a brickling order of like three, three pieces, which is kind of ridiculous. Mm. So I try to group them all together with other ships, but I need a bigger spreadsheet of all the parts I need for all the ships. I think I did something wrong, but I think all I have to do to make it right is move this guy. Yes. Problem solving. I think that's right. We will see. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take some medicine. Are you? I'm not happy with this right now. Because I left work early on Friday because of this, and I don't want to have to call in tomorrow and say, man, that headache is still here. Of course, it just came on. It's not like it's the same headache for yeah, four so days. Holland is just. If you had a puppy, it would entertain the cat for you. That is true. Yeah. Thank you, whoever said that. That was Ingrid. Thank you, Ingrid. Um, oh, Gareth and, and Laura. Laura joined us, however briefly. Gareth is a tech slug, a, a fellow tech slugger. 
And Laura is not. She is a band person. Band mom! Um, yes, she would. Uh, a new puppy would entertain the cat mm -hmm. until the cat got F and tired of her. She'd be like, or he'd be or, like, you know what? Just get it away from me. I don't need The new dog would be like, dude. That's true. Our cat is fairly playful with Allie. Yeah. And I think at times Allie is like, back off, yo. That's what she would say if she could talk. Back off, yo. Actually, she sounds like Maggie Smith. She would say, Mr. Potter, yeah. 50 points Gryffindor. <laughs> Oh my it was God, the was worst Maggie Smith so impression. So cute. It wasn't great, but... She's got kind of a shaky voice, kind of a Catherine Hepburn thing going on. No, that's Mac. No, no, no. Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith. Yeah, Maggie Smith does. I thought Smith you were talking does. about Allie. I'm like, no, Mac does, though. Mm-mm-mm. Um, okay. Am I almost done? I'm almost done. Do you ever get to a point where you're like, I just don't want to do this anymore? Have you seen this? I know. No, that has never come up. <laughs> and it never will. Nope. Yeah, sh shut your heathen mouth. Did someone say that? No. Oh. <laughs> I did. Shut your heathen mouth. Oh. I still haven't sorted any of that lug bulk stuff. I just need to get more uh, cabinets and stuff. I have all those ones that I got from Cheryl and Claire. I should put those in here, except I don't know where. Got a nice little thing hollowed out here for streaming and drawing and building. I don't want to add too much clutter to it. We got this room back once the capital left, so it was yeah. nice to get a space back, and I just don't want to fill it up with junk. But I've got like three boxes of like not my models that I need to get to Del Seaton, but they are not apparently responding to us. <gasps> oh, it's just my fish. Also, you don't ever need to gasp. It's Lego. But I work so hard. It goes back together. I'm have I'm still having like flashbacks from I shouldn't say that. That's making light of people who actually have had post traumatic stress. It's very uh, diplomatic of you. I am nothing if not diplomatic. You're a social worker. Oh. <laughs> well, it's almost 9.30. <laughs> so we can either go till you're finished or we can just stop. I don't understand what I have done. <laughs> what have I done? Because um, there should be... I think this needs to turn around. <laughs> you <hush. laughs> I may be like a Lego veteran, but I can see when instructions say, hey, turn this piece around. Um, but now what? Um, it just sits. Oh. Yeah, it just kind of goes. It's not going to. No, it's got a little thing over here that it kind of sits on. Oh. And then that's it. Well, why don't they make it with there. my fish? My fish! My fish! <laughs> um, not even giving a thought. Not even thought of giving up even after washing and sorting thousands of Lego. <laughs> that yeah. Dedication. We are hardcore people, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's just about 930. I think we should call it. You can finish this if you want. Unless you think you can. I can maybe do it in the next. I need to make out his meatballs, though, but I'm kind of invested. Okay, well, we'll go, you know what, instead of 9.30, we'll just go till you're done. Okay. I do have to make meatballs, though. Don't let me go to bed without making them. Well, it's only 9.30, I and mean, you're going to be up till 1 in the morning anyway. Not necessarily. No, necessarily. Listen. Oh, no, I feel like I have to burp. I don't want to burp on live computer. On live computer. Well, it's not TV. <laughs> ben and Beth are filmed before a live couple of pets. <laughs> So yeah, during the roast of our friend last night, uh, Beth was made fun of for her her dog and her love of m murder podcasts and shows. And not committing to being a real Jew. Yeah, not committing to be a real Jew. 
Which I thought it's was hard. It's so hard. Oh my god. It is. It's so difficult. You know, it's easy for people who are born into it to say stuff. <laughs> That's what I should have said. <laughs> are you out, Ingrid? If you're out, thanks for stopping by. Bye. If you're not, then we'll we'll be with you for a couple more minutes. Um, and the only thing they really had to make fun of me was apparently I'm a little overweight. <laughs> and, you, and you like Lego. And I like Lego. So there wasn't a whole lot to, you know, dig on. Because you're an okay guy then. Yeah, I kind of wish sometimes I was a dick so I could get made fun of like no. that. But well, I don't think the people that got made fun of were dicks necessarily. Oh, Lucas Lucas is a dick. <laughs> but, he, but that's part of his charm. That's part of his charm. That's why we love Lucas. Yeah, th this is true. Him and his uh, affection for 18-year-old girls. Yeah. I'm just happy that he doesn't know me better because his... His bit burns. was savage. It was savage. It was Almost pretty as rad. Almost savage as Erica and Crystal. Yeah, that was... I was impressed with Crystal. I was impressed with everybody. They did so well. I know. It was so bad. I'm really glad that I didn't get a spot and do any roasting because I'm like, I don't think I would have done nearly that well. Um... What did I not do? Um, I did not do... I'm just not good at following instructions. Is this supposed to be a different color? What? Where are you? I can't. Which? This and this. Yeah, okay. those are two different colors. How come this doesn't like match up all the way? What? There's a little hole there. Like your hand is right. You're like, why does this not match up why all the way? Up? Where? Right here? Yeah. That little lip? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Maybe I'm just too particular. For this. Yeah, maybe. Jeez. Maybe I'm too OCD. That might be the problem. I'm like, why isn't this fitting exactly? Why did I sound like Jerry Seinfeld there for a second? What is it with the holes and the gaps? Why are there so many gaps? All right, well, if you're watching, I'm totally gonna do uh, the trick. Is it a bad trick? What are you doing? Well, he showed me this trick. Are you not doing it right? No, I'm not, apparently. Yeah, how did he do that? I also want it to be symmetrical. Like, I want what's happening on this side to be happening on this side. And it's not, and it's kind of driving me crazy. I don't think Lego is good for OCD people. Apparently not. I'm going to write them and complain. Um, I wouldn't. Now I've totally forgot what the trick was. It's supposed to be you're supposed to put two of these together and be able to like kind of go clink, and it pulls something apart. But I don't think I've got the right ones for that. And this is gonna bother me. So I'm gonna do old school. Yeah, yeah. That's yours. Yeah, you gotta hurry up. I wanna get back to my uh, show. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't make it fit. Is it just supposed to sit or do I have this on? I think you have it upside down. Uh-oh. So it should be like this? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Whoops, wrong place. Where does this go? And they're, and they're big. Okay, so, oh no. So where does, oh, it goes in there. Um, okay, I don't like these. Technic pins? It got, it went. Um. Oh, 
That's what that's for. Bomb dropping. Yes. Man down. Why is there, there's all kinds of stuff happening right now. <laughs> what? There's stuff dropping. And... Okay. Got that. I'm sorry I'm making you stream longer. Yeah. You don't have is... to. I mean, I can finish. I don't have to be watched to yeah. put this together. Well, the people who are watching, I don't know who's actually still watching, but they might want to like to see a finished product. Yeah. They've invested X amount of time. I will say there is something fun about like looking at all the pieces and not quite knowing like I mean I know you know where it's what the outcome's gonna be because obviously you can see it on the thing. Right. But it's like you look at all these pieces and it's like how is this ever gonna come together? And then it just does. Does advertising work? Just did. What is this music? This is not what I want to listen to. I wouldn't know because I can't hear it. You know what? If we had more money, I'd be able to buy you a puppy, a green dress, but not a real green dress. That's cruel. That's cool. How? Why? Who? <laughs> oh, the plucky reporter. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. There. There we go. Looking guy and this thing. You don't need to feed Allie, right? You just need to. No, I already fed her, remember? Oh, yeah. God. We've been through this one. Have we? I don't know. Um, I think I put this in the wrong place. You know, you'd have been done by now if you'd, like, followed the directions. Listen, I don't know, this is going to be a hard one to... <laughs> I need your little thingy. It's a good size. Shut up. How does it work? I just do this? What are you trying to do? Take that off. Where'd the piece go? Oh. Um, uh oh. That guy goes like right here. Nope. Son of a. Seven-year-olds can do this. I can do it. <laughs> it remains to be seen. Shush. Um, oh, this mess. I hate these, like, technic messes where you got to pull the parts apart. And... Pull the parts apart. Yeah, I just don't like that kind of stuff. But why? Well, technic stuff goes together with a lot of pins and uh, axle rods and... Mm -hmm. Uh, Technic holes and everything and it's just it fits together really nicely, but it's like you never remember how it did it So you're stuck kind of like Prying apart stuff that mm -hmm. I don't know Kind of a pain in the butt you're a pain in the butt. I am I'm making you do this Yeah, I didn't ask for this I don't think anyone's watching anymore Well, it says five people are on but oh. Hello five people uh, those five people are probably just like have it on the background and that's totally cool like Rachel. <laughs> Rachel just turns on and is like, I just watch you guys to fall asleep. Did she say that? <laughs> no. Because that would be really funny. There are some Lego channels where people do reviews or whatever and they just turn it on and they like the person's voice so much they just fall asleep. Aw, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. I am not one of those people. I am abrasive.
Almost done. You can feel it. Can you feel the excitement? Can you feel that? Huh? Huh? You're being creepy. It's a quote in a movie, Beth. Yeah, but the way you said it was... Was exactly like the movie. Oh. What movie were you quoting? Uh, Ace Ventura. Oh, I haven't seen that forever. I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. <laughs> okay. So this guy goes here. This little whirly thing. Whirly thing. Um... It's hard to get these wow, to that's line a up. really long axle. Look at that mo, long How do you red get axle. This to line up? This isn't what isn't? Again, your hands are all in the way. I don't even know what you're looking at. What are you trying to do? Just put it on top? Yeah. You just kind of work it around until it gets on there. Oh. <laughs> I got this. Okay, and then this guy goes. I think these are my pieces. But I'm leaving them up here just in case. Um, and then I'm making whatever this is. It's a rock. I got a rock. Nearly done! Where did this go? Right. Here. See, this is what always does it go here? No, I think it goes. That's all. You got some of this is all backwards. Oh no, what's backwards? Just go here. Oh. I think it just sits in there like this. Oh, okay. My, this. I think, actually, that probably goes in there. You probably have an extra one. End, end. Yep, yes. done. Oh no, you're missing. What am I missing? All right, piece goes. No, look, it's, oh. Uh, remember that piece from <laughs> earlier? I think they put I, it into a different bag. I think they did, yeah, but oh well. And so she can go here. I put this the wrong way. It won't stand. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. We did set. Ah! Go away. Luke! This is Luke, right? Yep. Old Luke. Wow. There's a lot of extra of these mm -hmm. pieces. It's possible I missed oh, some stuff. Oh, no, this is uh, her staff. Oh, well, it doesn't have that. Probably when you put the figure together. So her staff goes somewhere over here. This makes more sense. This looks like extra okay. pieces. All right, we're done. We're Gotta done. Thanks balls. for uh, hanging out with us, everybody. Richard joined us at the last second, but um, it was good seeing you for those who are here, and uh, we'll see you hopefully Thursday. Um, and I don't know what we'll be doing Thursday. Maybe I'll do some designing or some more drawing, or we'll see what's up. But have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.